What is going on everyone? Back for another episode of this build where we're going to be taking things off the engine, replacing a few different things and getting this engine tidy back up, ready to go back in the car. So today we have to take off our power steering pump. We've got the air compressor, or the not air compressor, the air conditioner on the other side. And um, we'll be taking the heat shield off, cleaning up the exhaust manifold, um, getting all this stuff squared away, cleaning this up, just a general maintenance uh, we will be replacing some belts um, drive belt down here which also powers your water pump um, i will be putting a new water pump in there i will be putting a new thermostat in the engine as well and we'll be taking the belts off for the air compressor we will be putting a new timing belt on it as well because um, i'd rather put new stuff on there now knowing it'll be right to go then getting out there, driving it, and having to replace it later on. So, new timing belt, new drive belt, new water pump, new thermostat. We do have a new head gasket coming um, on the way. Um, and that should be here soon, hopefully. Um, hopefully, it'll be here before we put the engine back in. Otherwise, we'll just have to pull the head off while the engine's in the car and replace it there. So, that's what we've got planned today. I will say this, shout out to all the guys down at Auto One in Townsville. Uh, any questions I had about parts or issues with this engine, they were straight on it, finding the gear I needed, getting it to me at a really great price, and getting me hooked up with this stuff, ready for to replace the stuff and the build. So if you were ever in Townsville and need parts, head in and see the guys at Auto One in Townsville. They will look after you and take care of you. Um, for all your automotive needs for XLs or whatever car you want. Anything you need, they'll get stuck in and find it for you. So let's get into it. Let's get this build started and get the things off before you start replacing stuff.
We have got all the stuff off the back end that we need to. You can see it's pretty dark. I've got the timing belt off, got the tensioner, got the pulley. Uh, water pump is out. This is the old water pump. Um, I am replacing it. It is absolutely filthy. Absolutely shocking. So we'll be replacing that, replacing the timing belt, um, giving it a good clean up inside and just give me just a bit of general maintenance in here so it um, still works as it should. So I'm really hoping this uh, head gasket comes so then I can put it on because I just figured out I have to take the whole timing belt off just to put the um, head gasket on. And I really don't want to pull this engine out of the car again. So um, hopefully it arrives in the next couple of days you get going but right now I'm going to give this thing a bit of a tidy up nice bit of a clean and I'll show you what it looks like after that what I'm going to be using now is a Daco timing belt kit um, again from the guys at Auto One in uh, in Townsville now the reason why I went with guys at Auto One is when I went to get my clutch which I'll show you hopefully soon in another video um, I went to another store in town as well, a very well-known store Australia-wide. Um, I won't tell you the name, other than it's green, black, and yellow. Um, and I asked them if they could try and get in a clutch for me, and they said, oh, no, it's too much effort. Just go down the road to the guys at Auto One, and they'll be able to sort you out. And I was like, fair enough, you don't want the business. So I went down to the guys at Auto One, and they were blown away by what was said to me um, by the guys at this other shop. And so they said, whatever you need, let me know, come in, we'll find it, we'll source it, we'll get it for you. I went in, I said, I need a timing belt kit. And they said, beautiful, it's in the warehouse. Cruise on down and get it. So that's what I did. I also got a dry belt from them for the uh, water pump and the uh, alternator. That's done. I also got a water pump from them. Um, also got a thermostat, gasket for the thermostat, and I got a clutch as well. And the head gasket is coming, so hopefully that one turns up soon. What I thought I might do is I'll put the timing belt on, and then um, sometime down the road, I'll change the head gasket over when I'm really starting to push these things to its limits, because I don't know how long the head gasket's actually been in this car and on this engine. So. I will hold on to the head gasket, at least I know I've got it um, when I need to use it and I'll pull it off, uh, pull the head off, do it and I might even put a new head gasket on if I actually ever want to get the heads done to spec for the series, um, which I probably will do down the, uh, down the road sometime. So that's the goal. At the moment we'll get the timing belt on, get that all taken care of and then um, kick on with the... Uh, with putting it all back together. All right guys, sorry you missed out on seeing all the uh, timing belt get put back on. Um, the battery for, for my GoPro died and uh, the other battery I've got is completely dead so I'm gonna have to get a new one of those. But I'll put a picture up of what is behind this cover right now. Um, you'll see there that 
It's got the new timing belt, the new idler pulley. It has a new um, tensioner on there as well with the new belt. If you come around here, um, you'll see the new water pump. Uh, that that uh, water pump is also in that picture that I've taken as well. So we've removed all the other belts off the engine that are not needed. Um, and we're just left with our drive belt, which is right there, which just runs our water pump here our alternator and then off the pulley down the bottom. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cleaning up the header pipe um, and getting that back on to the engine right here. Um, I've cleaned up this engine quite a bit. It's, it's looking much, much better than what it did before and I'm expecting it's going to come out really, really nicely. If I come around this side, I'm going to have to try and find a uh, intake manifold gasket because the one that was on here I pulled the intake off and half the gasket came off with it and cracked and was brittle so I'm hoping I can get into a shop tomorrow and pick one up and then we can get that sorted out there and get the intake back on as well and uh, yeah it's now slowly coming together very very nicely it's the first chance I've actually got to see the um, the engine number's down there, G4FK, and it's got the engine number on there. So it's actually coming together really nicely. So I'll get started on this exhaust manifold right now. Um, and then we'll get, we've just got to replace the thermostat, things like that. And then, yeah, replace a few hoses and then we can start getting it ready to be put back into the car. Hopefully, by the time we get the uh, new intake manifold for this intake. So I've just painted, started painting the headers a nice black colour um, just to get rid of all the rust after that's after using some rust converter um, and I've just used the back brace for the intake, um, painted that black as well so once these are painted I'll stick them in the oven and cure them and then they'll be right to bolt back on hopefully tomorrow um, ready to go back on the car. Okay, I've just pulled apart our thermostat housing guys and <clears throat> if you look here, I've, just, I've already put the new gasket on. It's a self-adhesive gasket. It comes with a, um, a white peel-off backing and you stick it down, just line up the bolt holes, stick it down. This was the old thermostat and I don't know if you can see in there, but inside there's a lot of rust um, and a lot of buildup of gunk and how this thing opened and closed efficiently I have no idea um, luckily we're replacing it with this new guy uh, this is the uh, the Trident high performance um, thermostat 30% extra cooling I believe it opens up at about 88 degrees um, but yeah it's a much better alternative to this one if you look at the difference um, this one here is full of gunk obviously this one's being brand new is nice and clean um, We'll stick this one in and see how we go. Now, when we do it, all we, all we do, I've cleaned off the gasket face there. Just drop your thermostat in. Now that I've already got the gasket stuck down to the face of the housing, just pop it on, line up your bolt holes like so, and drop your bolts in. Don't do them up too tight just yet because you will have to uh, torque them down. first. This one here. And this one down here. And finally, that's belt. And that's that. One of the easiest things you can do for um, preserving your engine and cooling is just replacing your thermostat. Once you figure out where it is on your engine, 
That's the old gasket. That's the old thermostat. We can get rid of these now because we won't be needing them anytime soon. Um, but yeah, simple thing to preserve the life of your engine and keep it cool. Thanks for sticking around for this one, guys. I know it's a bit slow paced. Uh, there's a lot of things we have to get done to the engine before we get it back in the car. Tomorrow I'm hoping to go and get an intake manifold gasket so I can put the intake back on, get the exhaust man um, manifold back on, and then start working on some stuff in the engine bay before putting the engine back in because I need it, get, need it to get done in about five days before I take the car in to get the floor pan um, fixed up. So, I'll see you in a couple of days if not beforehand with another video but enjoy this one guys give it a like subscribe leave a comment and i uh, hope you have an absolutely smashing 2020 see you later